Do you want to turn devices on and off by Google Assistant, Cortana, Alexa and from anywhere on the internet? Okay Google, turn on all devices. Welcome to Creative JE. Creativity is everything. Hey what's up guys in this video i will be showing you 10 dollar easy home automation in just 10 minutes with google assistant amazon alexa cortana and a web app Shivam is here so you don't need to go anywhere let's get started for this easy IoT project, first you will need Node MCU ESP8266, which is a microcontroller with Wi Fi enabled or an IoT device. Next one is Relay Module. We use this for switching high voltage appliances like your fan, TV, light bulbs, and many more. The working of the relay is very simple it consists of coil and contacts which acts like a switch and a movable iron armature which helps in closing the switch. Now we will take the power source and connect the device. Cut the positive wire and attach it to the switch. Now when we will apply a small voltage to the coil it will become an electromagnet which will attract the iron armature and if it will move the circuit will complete and the bulb will glow. And when you will remove battery it will go back in the original position and bulb will not glow. So this was really easy. But we will use the relay module which will protect from any high voltage electric shock. You can buy all the products from banggood.com which provides really cheap product. I will give all the best buy links in the description. If you want to control more than 4 devices you can buy 8 or 16 channel relay module. And don't forget to look at the description. Make sure that it is 5 volt not 12 volt relay and here it is written that you will need 5 volt active low which means negative voltage. As here you can see that the first we attached 5 volt power supply. I am using USB output and now when we will touch the pins with negative wire the switch will turn on. Here it is 8 channel means you will get 8 switches and you can see the max output contact which is 250 volts 10 ampere. Most of your electronics won't exceed that. You will also need few female to female jumpers or also you can solder your wires. And a 5 volt 2 ampere power supply or you can take your any old smartphone charger. Make sure that you are not choosing free shipping because if you will do so then your product will never come to you. So just go with direct mail because it's cheap and fast. You can buy these things from your local market also. Now go to your computer and install Atom Code Editor for downloading just go to atom.io and click on download and then just open it. It will take some time to install and after that it will launch automatically. And now go to the file and then settings. Here click on install and search for platform IO. Now install the platform IO IDE. It will take some time to install and after that restart the atom and wait for the packages to load. Now we can see all the controls. So just click on home and then create a new project. Type any name you want and in the board selection type node MCU and select for ESP12B and keep the framework to Arduino. Now click on finish. It will take a while to install all the things for you. So please wait. It depends on your internet speed and please do not close the installation as here you can see our project has been successfully initialized so just hit ok. And now go to the file, open folder, go to your document folder and then 
go to platform io and select your project folder now it will appear in the sidebar so just expand the source folder and open main.cpp file this is the main file where we write code which gets uploaded to the board now go to github link of this project which you will find in the description then open the main file and copy all the codes and paste it in the atom now here type your wi-fi name and password in the codes and if you want to add more devices just type the name and pin number you can see all the gpio pins here there are 16 pins just don't use boot pins like gpio 15 now we are setting all the pins to output if you are adding more devices you will need to add codes everywhere for that device and after that we will read values from eep rom of addresses 1 2 3 and 4 then apply that to the device pin which we defined now we will check if there is any client connecting to our server then send the html codes to the client if you want to customize it then go to the project link and open index file and copy the codes. Press Ctrl plus N and paste it. Save the file by pressing Ctrl plus S or Command plus S on Mac. This is just basic HTML file. If you want to add more buttons, just duplicate it by pressing Ctrl Shift D. And add name of your device in the URL. Make sure that you are using single quotes. Now copy all the codes, go to this website and paste all the codes and click on minify. Now copy it, go to atom and paste the code in the client.print. Now we will make routes for our devices. These are for on. If there is a space in your device, just add percent %20 instead of space. Duplicate it and rename it. And also change the pins and EEP room address. Same will go for off route. And I also have all devices routes. So I will modify that as well. You can also do that. Now connect your node MCU through USB cable. Wait for few seconds. It will install all the drivers. Now click on the upload button. When it detects the COM port, hold the flash button and leave it after the code starts uploading. After the code uploaded to it, open the serial monitor and copy the IP address and if it's not connecting to Wi-Fi, press the boot button. Now visit the IP, make sure that you are connected on the same Wi-Fi network. You will get this page. Now we will connect wires to relay modules. So as here you can see, I just attached 4 red wires and 4 black wires which is common. So you can also connect them easily as shown here. Now take female jumpers and plug it in the INI pins and after that also plug black wire to ground and red to VCC. Now connect ground to ground, VCC to VCC and also plug INI wires according to pin you defined in the code. So here it was 16 for side LED, 5 for front and so on. Now power it up by 5V 2Amps, your computer USB won't work for this. After that visit the IP which you copied earlier and try switching the relays on off. As here you can see LEDs are indicating which switch is on or off. Now take your charger and hold its plug by plier and just plug it slowly or you can open it by putting a screwdriver like this. Now we got the charger PCB so we will just solder wires on AC output just like that. And after that cut the USB cable, solder black wire to ground and red wire to 5V. This can save our space. You can skip this part if you don't want. You can just plug the USB and that's fine. And make sure to check that your power supply is working properly after soldering wires. And while testing, please do not touch the PCB. 
Now go and turn off all your house power supply. And after that go and open your electric board. If it is having any cover you can just remove it by putting a screwdriver in the holes just like that. And after that remove all the screw now you can take it out. It looks like this with lots of wires. First the mains wire goes to the switches and after that the common wire gets connected all together like this. And when you will turn on the switch the circuit will complete. Now put charger in the case and attach one AC wire to the common and another one in mains. I have an empty switch so I will use that but that's not necessary you can connect it directly. Add something like this on the back of your relay module for safety and put a rubber band on it. Now we will attach relay common black wire to the mains wire and after that find the switches for your devices. Then attach red wire on them according to your INI pins. Now put relay inside the board safely and attach wires to the node MCU. And don't forget to plug the micro USB. Now go ahead and turn on the power and test if everything is working. Then turn off the power again, put everything inside properly and fix the board to its normal position. Now we will need to connect this device to internet so you can do port forwarding on your Wi-Fi router with dynamic DNS to get an static address. But this can be a lots of tasks so we will use our Android phone. Open Play Store and install Turbo VPN and after that simply connect to it. And after that install Termux and type pkg install openssh and hit enter. Now go to creativec.com ssh. Type your device IP and a unique username. Then simply click on copy command. Go back to Termux, long press and paste it and hit enter. You can see the URL now. For checking just visit on the URL. If you will type slash on slash side LED it will turn on side LED. That's what we are doing with buttons making request. And you can see that the space became percent 20 here. So that's why we added this in node MCU code. And visiting off route will turn off the things. Now go to ifttt.com and make an account. Click on my applets and create a new applet. Click on this and look up for Google assistance. And choose say a phrase with a text ingredient. Here you will need to type what you want to say. So we will say turn on device name. Dollar will be the ingredient. You can also add other ways of saying. And at the end what you want Google to say in response. Now click on that and search for webhooks. Choose make a web request. Now put the URL of your web app followed by slash on slash your ingredient which will be our device name. And make sure to remove space after the slash. Method will be get and set content type to JSON. And click on create action and after that just finish it. Now again go and follow the same. Just make sure that you are typing turn off instead of on. And also don't forget to add off in webhooks and finish it. You can do this with Cortana, Alexa and many more like weather underground. At the time of sunset your LEDs will turn on and at 10 pm it will turn off. All of those things you can do here. If you want app for this just visit the IP open chrome menu and click on add to home screen. And now your app is ready to use. Now let's see the demo. Hey Cortana, 
Turn on all devices. Your all devices is now on. Hey Cortana, turn off all devices. Your all devices is now on. Hey Cortana, turn on fan. That's all for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. You can support my work on Patreon. If you like the video then hit the like button. If you hated it then give a dislike. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications. And thanks for watching.